Butch Mac got the game ball for him. Uh, Cam's going to take it over to him. That was our number one priority. We had to win this game for Coach Mac, period. So uh, just want to say thanks to all the fans that showed up today. And, um, you know, really pleased um, uh, that we got into a fourth quarter ball game, which is which is huge, especially with, a, you know, a newbie playing quarterback. Um, uh, we knew going into this game our defense was going to have to play some good football. Gave up a couple slices there early with the double move and a seam route, a well-developed play by Coach Clawson. Other than that, um, was really pleased with our defensive effort. You know, three turnovers, one for a touchdown. Good to see us scoring points on that side of the ball while the other side grows up a little bit at quarterback. Um, I thought uh, Bennett played well. He had uh, eight tackles at TFL, INT, at a very important time there early in the game, which kind of helped us with the momentum side of things, which was big. Um, and then I was really happy to see uh, Donnie with that, with that interception. You know, there's a young man, came here. We had high hopes for him. Um, he uh, had to have an ACL repair, which was not a good deal for him. And he persevered. He continued to work hard in school. And, uh, you know, he's done well with his academics. Just so happy to see that young man playing well for us, Donnie Simmons, and get a touchdown today. So hats off to Donnie. Um, you know, the areas that I'm always looking at is how we win in the, uh, in the rush differential. That's a big thing for me in this, uh, in this team. We were plus 103 in that area, which was good. I thought our penalties were, were, were decent, 30 yards with four. Uh, you know, I was really upset at the end. Should have got another touchdown there. Yeah. So we got to be locked in. We're not going to get away with that uh, when we get into some tighter ball games with some, with some teams down the road. All in all, very good victory, 2-0. Proud of these kids. I uh, was proud of Eric's effort, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't feeling it in that first half yet. We brought him along, and then I started to see some of the things that we recruited, and it was f uh, kind of fun to watch right there. So with that, any questions? Please raise your hand, and we'll bring a microphone to you. We'll start with Matt in the front row. What specifically did you see from Eric kind of struggling in the first half? And was there anything you or anyone else said to him at halftime to kind of turn that no, around? No, yeah, not a whole lot. I think, you know, I think he missed a couple throws. He missed a couple reads with the triple option stuff that we put in. Um, and he was more mad at himself than I was mad at him, to be quite honest with you. I could see it in his eyes. So I just said, just, just keep being the guy we recruited. What was your mistake? He was dead on. You know, he was on top of it. He sailed one over top of everybody. Um, you know, we were all like, who's he throwing to? Well, he was saying the same thing to himself when he came off. So he had some freshman moments. That's going to happen. Thank God they didn't hurt us in those crucial situations. But um, at halftime, I liked his demeanor. I liked his focus. Um, I thought our offensive line did some good things in the, in the third quarter to, to kind of cool things off for him. And then I saw Eric do some good things. You know, the, the little sidearm sling down the middle to, uh, to Brisley. That's the guy that, that we recruited. And then he almost got in with that athletic thing at the end there. That, you know, if you watch his highlight tape from high school, you saw a lot of that. So I saw the competitive nature that he had. Saw his vision with pressure in his face, which is really hard to, to coach. You know, he does some things that are hard to coach. So in good time, as we just keep weaning him forward, he'll be a very good quarterback. But we have to play great defense. We have to be able to run that ball and create some big plays uh, to help him in his growth. Steven? Hey, Scott. Kind hey, of Steven. Considering all the, uh, the, the bumps and injuries and stuff you guys have taken the last year and a half and the first half, from a morale perspective, what does that second half do? You know, those, those two big throws from Dungey, uh, you know, how do you see that kind of re-energize the team thinking big picture, you know? For sure. I think more than anything, it's just um, it, it, there's always a sense of uh, confidence that's, that's gained when you get into a fourth quarter game and uh, your kids find a way to plug through it and win a game. And I felt, I felt those things uh, going on on the sideline. I liked the confidence. I liked the demeanor of our coaching staff when things weren't perfect, the way we pushed through some difficult situations. I like to see some of those young kids that are thrown in there a little bit early. Eric, uh, you know, isn't the only one. Do some good things. Um, so for the most part, I say anytime you win a fourth quarter game as a player and as a coach, there is a sense of confidence as you move forward. You know, you want to be able to win games in the fourth quarter. It's key. It's key to our success moving forward. And uh, anytime you can put one of those notches on your belt, you feel really good about it as we go into, uh, you know, a game with Central Michigan. Central Michigan's a good football team, played Oklahoma State extremely well. I'm from that conference. I grew up in that conference, that MAC conference. And I got the utmost respect for those folks. Those guys know how to play tough, hard-nosed football. So we'll have our hands full. But I think the learning curve, to answer your question, in the fourth quarter is a big deal for our youth, especially at that quarterback position.